Beverage companies and doctors are at odds over energy drinks. Some people have criticized them for being too sugary, and others claim they cause heart issues. And now some are taking action, saying they'll no longer sell energy drinks to teens. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live to break down the growing concern over energy drinks. Matt, what's the issue here? Well, these cans really do pack a punch unless you're really reading each individual thing and being careful about it. It's hard to tell because they come in various sizes and different amounts of caffeine and each and every single one of these brands and research shows that these things do land teenagers in hospitals. So we could give you the statistics, but I think actually seeing a face and understanding what this looks like is a little bit different. So the face you're seeing on your screen right now connected to this here in Michigan, his mom is really pushing for change because this past year he landed in the ER after drinking too many energy drinks and pop spent two days in the hospital. His mom says he won't have permanent damage, but had to be rushed to the hospital when he went into what she called full on panic mode. He couldn't even breathe. As stories like these have become all too common for some, and in Europe there are now pushes to ban energy drinks for anyone under the age of 16. And while the push hasn't led to actual loss, some supermarket chains are now taking it on themselves to ban the sale of the items to anyone under that age. A few big names like Tesco, Waitrose, and Aldi are now saying no to selling energy drinks to anyone under the age of 16. Doctors say too much caffeine, it can trigger dangerous side effects. Blood pressure goes up, heart rate goes up, and then they'll start to feel the effects. Heart racing, heart skipping, panic attack symptoms, irregular heart rhythms. All right, so the reality is many of us adults probably aren't drinking stuff that looks like that, that red mess. I gotta be honest, it smells awful too. Uh, I won't say which one that is, but uh, we do drink a lot of coffee, right? So how many cups is compared to these? You'd be surprised. A lot of us are probably already drinking too much caffeine ourselves, even if we're not drinking those energy drinks. So coming up at eight o'clock, I'm gonna show you which one of these cans is actually equal to three of these cups and why a lot of us may actually be going over not only just teenage standards for how much caffeine you're supposed to take in, but adult standards. And I'll ha give you a hint, I think most of the people in this morning show or already probably drinking too much coffee. Yeah, I bet that probably sounds about right. All right, Matthew, thank you so much. We'll check back with you.